till here. Okay, so a couple things. Okay, I have this. I'm pushing this all the way across, getting that elbow tight, getting my head underneath here. Okay, um, everything's got to be tight. Okay, I can't have this arm down. I'm pulling that hand across, shoving it across, and then getting all the way underneath. Okay, rotating, pulling them down, right in my line. Now, as I release him here, okay, I'm releasing to his belly, okay, and I'm going to just come right back up on top here, and I'm going to drive him forward, okay, right here. As I do that, I'm going to start swooping this foot right out from under. Okay, so drive him forward, I start swooping right here. Okay, now, I'm going to jam this knee up here, okay, right by his shoulder. I'm gonna go attack his chin, and I'm gonna drive my elbow down to the mat. Okay, where, they, where we don't get enough pressure on this is we're up here. Okay, I drive my elbow down to the mat. I'm cupping his head like a football. Okay, right there. Now I'm just gonna bring, start bringing that head and knee together right here. Okay, the whole time I've got this wrist still. Okay, I'm keeping that wrist until I got this all the way locked up. I got his head and knee together. Now I go release that wrist. I go get my hands locked right on the chin here. Okay, nice and high. Okay, when I go finish this, okay, lots of different ways to do it. Okay, I like going uh, back, like kind of back stepping here, getting this um, heel right up on my hip, shelf finish. Okay, and then just a small adjustment, come forward, keep my chest right on that lock. Okay. Start with this wrist. I go to my roll through, get my hand on one, two, three, four, five. Okay, let roll through, drive it forward. Dig out this foot. Okay, get that foot hook. Scoop this head. Okay, okay. I go right here. Okay, elbow down on the mat. Cupping. Okay, I can't take his head out like this. Okay, I gotta keep his head covered. I'm just walking his head and his knee. So I'm not just pulling his head to his knee, and I'm not just trying to walk his foot up to his head. Okay, bring them both together, crunching him nice and tight. Okay, there's a little bit of space right there. Okay, when I do this, my lock, okay, I like right here. I'm going to just kind of seat grip right underneath of his chin. Okay, and once I have that, I'm pinching my elbows this way, not like this. Okay, I have this, I'm pinching them down, together. Okay, pinch nice and tight. I step, get the seat on my hip, uh, hip and drive forward. Okay. Right okay. You can also, if he's got this leg hooked, sometimes they'll hook this leg right there, kind of keep you from stepping over. Right? You're kind of all in there. Okay, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to rock to my far hip. You know, okay? And once I get this, okay, I'm not going to try to pin him here. Okay, I'm going to rotate back on top here. Okay, if I go here, I might get my count, and then I rotate, take this thing out, get back on top. Okay, one more time. Sorry. Okay, another, okay, one more way is I will run to the back side here. Okay, that way. The pinch. Okay. Those are all, all situations where I can't get my leg free to, to get that thing shoved on my head. Yeah? Backside one time. Okay. So I've got this cradle locked up. I rotate. Okay. I'm going, my butt's going right there. Once I'm here, it's kind of like, uh, like I'm doing a gut wrench. I back arch and rotate. All the way up to the top. Right, see that? I can get I can get myself out of trouble here by hitting that good back arch, popping my hips, and just rotating up on top of my head. Alright? Okay, so hit the roll through tilt first, then hook up that cradle. Okay, finish every time with a fall. Let's do it. Three, two, one. 